one of one of my uh, 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 followers asked me what, what what was a couple rules for for scenic photography, and uh, well, the first thing that comes to mind was uh, never never face directly into the sun <laughs> because it's not going to come out good. You face away from the sun and uh, your pictures tend to come out a little better. There's another photography guy over there. I wonder if he's a YouTuber. I said hello when he wandered past. I don't know. Nobody comes out here this time of year unless you're like taking pictures or something on, on account of there's scenery everywhere. It's just too cold for for the families and the youngins to come out. You got that uh, a couple swings and a little monkey bar set up there for for the youngins, but uh, it's it's empty. But yeah, you want to uh, you want to kind of face away from the sun if ever possible, and uh, if that means you need a shot to get up in the morning, then get up early. Or if the sun is in a better position. In the evening, then get out there later. But uh, but you know, you see how uh, awkward this is facing the sun. It's just not uh, not ideal. And then you turn around, and voila! You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing you want to look out for is, uh, and this is kind of unfortunate when people do this, but. Uh, you know, I've taken a lot of river shots and lake shots, and I haven't noticed, but later on the computer, I see the shots are full of trash and things, and you want to kind of keep that in mind as well. Um, you know, you move you move your, your camera slightly to the left, and all of a sudden the trash is gone, and you can take your shot. But, uh, you know, when sometimes... Scenic photographers, and I'm guilty of this, uh, were kind of like um, big picture kind of photographers. We, we, you know, take it all in. And the problem with taking it all in is, is sometimes you get junk too, because you're literally taking in everything. Uh, so try to be a little more fine tuned when it comes to, you know, the little things course this time of year all the all the trash is is picked up and you know um, on a clear day like this you might see a, a park ranger or something going around just making sure limbs are gone because by uh, by springtime this place is going to be loaded and full of trash again oh he's this this guy is definitely a YouTuber he's got a freaking drone I'm going to go over there and see what I can see. Okay, the, the, the guy was not a YouTuber. He's just a guy with a drone that likes photography. I mean, I figured it was a good call. You know, a guy with a drone on a clear day, as cold as it is, there's got to be a YouTuber. But, uh... But I guess not. Anyway, um, I'm actually walking towards the sun on purpose because cause then I get to turn around. You know what I mean? 99% um, of, uh, of uh, any kind of scenic photography that you're going to want to do is uh, kind of... Um, important where the sun's position is. It's kind of dependent upon that. And if you're not taking that into account, it's going to look funny. Now, I'm coming down here into the trees because there's a different situation ooh, I'd like to discuss, and that is shade. Now, shade is interesting because you can point the camera directly at the sun 
and you still have kind of an interesting shot you can see what's going on I don't know if you can see the lake in the background with this camera but the problem with shading is of course it's too dark and uh, it's it's a little tricky in editing to kind of lighten it up a little bit without it looking cheesy but it does give kind of a uh, an interesting view I don't really like shooting the camera in this direction but uh, you know here's the other problem with shade is when you have a gigantic uh, dark spot and then it overexposes in the lighter area so shading is something you're gonna have to kind of play with yourself you know what I'm saying when when you're out in the woods or whatever like that you want to be uh, you want to be careful about keeping your lights and darks kind of symmetrical or you're going to end up with a shot like this that looks like crap it looks great in real life you know the lovely trees and the and the shady spot and the brightness in the in the background but on film it looks like crap so um, the key is is whatever the camera sees is more important than what you see okay and I've kind of had to so this this is actually better directly towards the Sun in the shade than away from it which is kind of the opposite when you're in the Sun it's just something to play with it's something to play with but anyway um, just go out and practice and uh, keep in mind where the Sun is and when you're outside uh, it's, it's kind of important to make sure that uh, you have your eye on the little screen because like I said what what the camera sees is more important than what you see okay so anyway that's uh, a few tips it doesn't look bad the Sun is right there you can't see it through the trees it's not a terrible shot but the the light is too light the dark is too dark so anyway I just figured I'd uh, throw that out there because somebody asked anyway thanks for watching have a uh, wonderful day and I'm kind of bummed that the guy's not a youtuber huh. I'll see you on the flip side I'm out <laughs> yeah.